The rhoticized vowels, or rhotics, are fairly straightforward in RLS. There are four simple rhotics and three rhoticized diphthongs, or rofongs. Each one is spelled with two R's if it immediately precedes another vowel and only one R otherwise. The three rofongs are spelled as shown in the following words, tear, tear, tour. Meanwhile, the simple rhotics are spelled as shown in these words, part, per, port, perhaps. In all of the previous examples, the R was either at the end of a word or immediately followed by a consonant. In either of these positions, rhoticization of the preceding vowel is automatic. However, a single R between two vowel letters acts like a normal consonant. All it does is make the preceding vowel short. In order to form a rhotic before a vowel, an extra R must be added. Consider the words arise and cauterize. The schwa and the R are pronounced separately in arise, but they form a rhotic in cauterize. To signal this in RLS, the R must be doubled. The same rule applies to rofungs too, as shown by the word fairy. Here are some more examples, this time with color coding. Rhotics are in green font. Simple sequences of a separate vowel followed by a separate R are in red font. The words are fur, story, near, card, rearrange, original, copper, around, covered, appearance, sore. Now for a few full sentences. Many furry critters came out on that starry night. Historical sources describe it as a fort. I studied hard to become a nurse. With that, there is only one lesson left before you'll know everything you need to know to read and write in RLS. We'll tackle the consonants next.